Hello, everyone. I have been informed that I have done a terrible thing through the magic of looking it up online and being suspicious of what I had just done. Uh, remember how sarcasm is punishable by death, according to Baylor here? Uh, well, as it turns out, uh, sometimes I need to bend the rules, uh, because of, uh, I need companions. <laughs> and also, this is a companion. Absolutely, it is. Nathaniel, that's why I know your name. Oh my god. What am I gonna do with you? If it isn't the great hero, conqueror of the blight and vanquisher of all evil. Yeah. So I may have been a little bit rash last episode. It, or I wasn't. I wasn't. I did the right thing, and uh, now I'm doing the wrong thing. We can do both, right? Especially with the magic of YouTube and loading a previous save. Yeah. So let's skip right past the nonsense. What will you do if I let you go? If you let me go? Uh, I don't know. I only came back to Ferelden a month ago. If you let me go... I'll probably come back here. You might not catch me next time. Well, I do have a history of uh, hiring the people who want to kill me. Keep your enemies closer and all that sort of stuff. You're not making the best case for yourself. This That ship has sailed so long ago. Last episode, in fact, it's when that, seal, that ship sailed. I could lie, if you prefer. I understand we had trouble capturing you. I'm not without skills. My time abroad wasn't spent chasing skirts and drinking wine. Did you hear that, Anders? And uh, Ogren? I mean, both. for On both accounts, I would guess. Your family, family only has itself to blame for its troubles. The house served Ferelden for twelve generations. My ancestors served under King Kalanhad. And now it's all lost. So go ahead and do what you're going to do. Huh. <laughs> What I have done already, Howie. What I have done already. Do you re really hate me so much? The Darkspawn are a menace. If it weren't for the Blight, maybe my father would never have done what he did. But I can't do anything about them, can I? There's just you and the Grey Wardens here in my home. I decided what to do with you. Already? Good. Let me guess, there's gonna be an option where it's clearly... I Seneschal for you, Commander. Yes. Where it's clearly laid out I that he's a companion. I our guest. Quite the handful, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Have you decided what's to be done with him? Yeah, I have indeed. Let's see. Oh yeah, we have that. Obviously, I was just, of course, blinded by... Oh, sorry, I was very thinking very logically, and uh, I... Uh, definitely uh, weighed all my options. Uh, that's what I did, for sure. Did you know this was Nathaniel Howie? Howie. It's gonna be Howie forever. Howie Kong. Uh, let's not go back to that. A uh how? -huh. He figures that they would turn up again. The Howes are implacable enemies, Commander. I wish to invoke the right of conscription. <laughs> you what? I'm sorry, Commander. The right of conscription? On the prisoner? No, absolutely not. Hang me first. I did hang you first. How opportune that you should ask such things. <laughs> you don't think this is better than dying? Hard to say. You like having Grey Wardens who want you dead? I have Grey Wardens we, who I had, and the, I mean, some of my best friends have wanted me dead at one time or another. I can't decide if this is a vote of confidence or punishment. An interesting decision, Commander. Come with me, sir. We'll see if you survive the joining. Well, he is going to survive the joining. Then, From this moment forth, yeah. Nathaniel Howe, you are a Grey Warden. The moment of truth. His... His... his uh... Whatever that's called. Looks like it's not good looking. The thing that he has on his chin. The how is stronger than I expected. For better or for worse, he will live. Well, I guess I guess we got to see both of his ends. Well, not ends. We will get to see this end, though. Uh, and we got a new companion. Quest completed, Nathaniel joining, and all that sort of stuff. I don't know if he's going to talk or not. 
Um, this is Nathan Nathaniel. I'm still, of, of course, still gonna need to um, to assign him to all the things. But uh, let's go back to where we were. Of course, Nathaniel is here now. There's a portrait of a Howie, and we have our own very our very own Howie. Hello, you pubes for face. Hello. Don't worry. I'll keep my mouth firmly shut. You should, otherwise... I just wait in the corner, then. Yes, you are waiting in the corner. Funny. Considering all the things that have been taken, it figures this would still be here. Let me guess. Your mother? Good guess. That's her. My father hated my mother. He only dragged this painting out when my grandmother visited, which was not often. I'd be paraded before her like a soldier on inspection, and she would pick over every floor while father awaited his turn. Well, she clearly missed some stuff to pick, didn't she? Hmm? Look at all that flaw over there that you got. <laughs> Why did he hate your mother? I don't really know. Her family was wealthy. I remember that much. They wouldn't touch me with a ten-foot pole now, of course. I'd be as welcome there as a bad rash. Anyway, someone should take this down. I think it's staring at me. Hmm. We should keep our mind on the task at hand. I have a task at hand, don't worry about it. And we're ready to go, because we have a... The whole quiet and stoic thing must get you a lot of action, huh? I take it you're an admirer, Ogren. What? No! No. Well, not unless... No! Good. Then I needn't worry about getting too drunk at camp. <laughs> okay, I like you, just not in that way. I... I'm... I am perturbed by all the companions, honestly. Okay, well, he is, as far as I can tell, this, do that. a rogue. He is absolutely a rogue. Nathalian is. Nathalian? Sure. He is also ready to level up. He's level 24. He's got a specialization in assassin. I could get him a shadow. I could get him any other things, namely those two, which I will get. So I'll get him the shadow because that's really good. Isn't that really good? What's the other ones? Well, actually, let's see. For a, a, an archer, which is what I'm going to make him, uh, an assassin for extra dexterity, extra critical chance, that's really good. Uh, so I like that already, and we're going to look into that in a little bit. Exploit weakness, a keen eye and a killer instinct, uh, that's pretty good. Wait. Successful backstab, so that's terrible, actually. So this one is the mark of death, which is pretty good. We got the lacerate... Uh, so those are pretty nice, but they're not really what I'm going to go with. Uh, the shadow over here for extra dexterity and extra attack. That's just good, isn't it? Uh, that's just fantastic. We could also give him a bard so he can sing a little bit and make him a Liliana uh, b b replacement. Legionnaire over here. Extra damage per hit. Most tales of the dwarf. Uh, that's not very good for a... Uh, that's really powerful, actually. <laughs> That's really good for, for me. Uh, not for uh, an archer, though. Although, for all I know, that's that's just a great thing to have as a... Um, as a... Uh, an ex extra skill. Or ex uh, as a... Uh, for the skills, I mean. So we got poison making. No, that's not the skill I want to look at. These are also not the skills I want to look at. How do you... Hmm... What? Oh, right, because I'm missing the specialization. Yeah, and we're going to go with the uh, Legionnaire. So we're going to need the Shadow for sure. We don't know what the Shadow is, but more importantly, I don't... Oh, there it is. So I'm very bad with poison making. I can make you be the good at poison making. So if I want the bar... Well, yeah, I'm going to go with the Shadow. No poison making for you. Improved tactics, that could be a good thing. Improved stealing, I bet that isn't. Uh, let's just make the poison making, even though we don't have that. No, wait, 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 that is rubbish. We need these, for sure. Oh my god, look at all those. Uh, and clarity as well. These, for sure. And, uh, I might need some of those for certain skills and whatnot. So, uh, where's the shadow? At the bottom? 
Shadow doesn't have skills? How unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. <laughs> oh, man. So what is the shadow for? For extra attack. They strike from darkness, employing personal decoys and hallucinogenic poisons to distract enemies before sliding a dagger between their ribs. Uh, hopefully not. Hopefully not. I like the attack, so that's an attack roll. Yeah, I like the attack. Okay. Let's get these, because these are important for anybody, really. But specifically, if I start using a lot of abilities, which I will. And uh, what are these? These are new ones. Accuracy. Arrow time. These are sustained. Oh, no. That requires a bunch of dexterity. Okay, I can wait a little bit for that. I don't have dexterity for that. Okay, well, we're going to need to wait a lot, a lot for that then. So we got a lot of talents that are not here. Shadow is here. Okay. Uh, we have an upkeep for shadow form. While this mode is active, the shadow flits in and out of concealment because enemies cannot concentrate on the character. Each hit reduces their interest in the attacker. This mode consumes stamina continuously. We also have a decoy, uh, which is pretty nice for a, 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 a decoy, basically. That's what it is. And shadow striking. So that's pretty good, and I think I will go ahead and get it. We got coup de grace. Automatic backstabs against stun and paralyzed, paralyzed characters. Not really what I want. Do we have anything interesting over here? No. Nothing interesting. So we are gonna need to have. Yeah, I don't. Rogues are weird. <laughs> rogues are weird. Heart seeker. What's that for? That's for a rogue. It's just a normal one. The rogue strikes strikes with great precision, attempting to fell weakened enemies in one last blow. If the attack is successful. A target of elite rank or lower is killed instantly if it is if its health is already low enough. If the again, I'm not sure what that means. If the attack does not kill, it inflicts a critical hit instead. And we got ghosts. Uh, uh, the rogue melts into shadows, completely evading enemies' physical attacks for a short time. Yeah, so we got some pretty good things in here. I like it. Deadly strike that's activated. Wait, that's a single attack. It doesn't say that it's melee. Additionally, if the... No, that's pretty good. Evasion. Yeah. That's good enough. The decoy is pretty good as well. So we got... Yeah, we got some good things in here. And that's how we're gonna play. However, he needs... Oh, he comes with things already. Uh, I got some new things. Sir Pounce a lot. Wait. Use this item. This item has a unique power. Does this make you my familiar Sir Pounce a lot? What do you think? That's the unique power that it has. I don't know what to say. Sure. Okay. So you're going to get a bow. Probably the only bow. I probably have another one, but it's fine. I'm going to get some armor for you. Uh, wait, did I use these instead of the ones I'm using? I don't think so. Got some boots. No helmet for you, though. That's a destroy. No clothing. And we got some rings over here. What do we have? Cunning. Extra cunning. That's not too bad. Honestly, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the best thing that I could give him. And an amulet over here for extra willpower. That's adds constitution. Healing received over there. It reduces our hostility. Eh, actually, I probably want that more than anything. Okay, we have a full team. He's not fully prepared, but we also have a, a dog. This Mabari seems greatly distressed. Her fur is patchy and caked with dirt and blood. I'm gonna inspect the dog. I don't think I am good at survival. You find a small scroll bound to the dog. Take this scroll. A dryer. She was... She was like a mother to me. We must save her. I suppose we found a scroll. Wait, that's the one. Quest updated. You encountered an injured Mabari beneath Vigil's keep. A scroll tied to the dog's uh, to the dog's collar carried a plea for help from a woman named Adria, who fled into the bowels of Vigil's keep. Yeah, that is uh, the person we're gonna we're gonna ask or we're gonna look for help right. or 
to help. We're gonna look for her to help her. Okay. The fire arrows I'll take. I, I forgot that uh, we had fire arrows over there. And let's explore. Autosave, hmm. A bunch of her locks and an emissary over there. Not a big fan of that. Uh, let's try and stop you. Like that. And then I'm gonna use you for all the good things. There's three of them over here. Look at them being all three of them in one place. Oh, uh, look at them being all dead as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you uh, can do a, th a critical... The character then strikes with the other weapon generated if the tar target is stunned. The target is not stunned, but I thought I had a specific critical generator. There it is. That's the one. Go for it. And then you are going to attack this guy. You also have a critical generator somewhere in here. It is an automatic critical hit. Shattered. Shattered. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty fun. <laughs> and the other one I basically didn't see because that was death. That was very subtle. Not subtle. Swift. Swift death. Very unsubtle. Very noisy. But we know that already. Okay, I'll take the dragon thing. Tier 7. They're good enough. Mm-hmm. And there's another one of these. So these guys are properly equipped. We got some malachite. Uh, there's a crate over here. Lesser na nature solve. Now, where are we going? Wine cellar. There's a letter. A response from Rendon Owie. Lowen, we cannot afford an insurrection. Put any troublemakers in chains. Do whatever it takes to weed them out. Whatever it takes, Lowen. And they wrote the same thing tw twice, one over the other. That's how you do bold in hands reading. Hand reading? Handwriting. Do not fail me. From Arl Rendon Howie. Howie, your dad was a scumbag. West, Wh West Hill Brandy. I have the impression that this is for you. Nathaniel. Nathaniel, dear. Look what I have found. This is nice. I bet it isn't. I bet it isn't for him. I will save scum. For days on that, we'll we'll see about that later. I'll I'll do the gift off camera or the gifting off camera. Note down who likes what and all that sort of stuff. Very easy to do actually. Well, everything is very easy to do off camera to be honest, because I can take how, however long I want and it doesn't matter. <laughs> so where are we going next? We have another thing over here. Maybe more wine. What did he say actually when I gave him the wine? He said something and I forgot about it already immediately. He was saying it and I was forgetting it. On the avars who lived here. Ruadan, shaman of the people, turned from the gods who had ever sheltered him in his grief. He destroyed the gifts of the Mountain Father and brought us low. What is that all about? Yes. Sounds like sounds like the dwarves. Hmm. A shriek. That's not good news. That is the bad news. Let's see what I can do here. There's multiple shrieks, and Ogren is an idiot. Oh, this is a crappy. Oh, there's multiple freaks. Okay, let's do this. Okay, you're all stunned. I must, uh, I must try to kill you here. Probably not gonna work. You're now laid splattered down on the floor for whatever reason. Okay, that's good enough. And then that guy died already. We're pretty powerful. We are, uh... Excellent! Quite firmly planted in the powerful persuasion. Why were there shrieks down here, though? That's the story. That's the reason why the heck there, there are uh, darkspawn down here. The Howies of Amaranthine are one of the oldest noble families in Ferelden. During the occupation, Arl Turlnawi, Rendon Owie's father, threw his lot in with the Orlesians. And then Rendon went and fought the Orlesians, right? Rendon's bravery at the Battle of White River, fighting alongside Bryce Cowslin, earned back his family's honor. Hmm. Man, these guys keep switching from one place to the other. And we got a little bit of a oh, one place, one allegiance to the other. We got a little bit of a recipe there. Very much uh, thankful for that. 
And, oh my god, I was just gonna say that we have friends. Well, we have somebody asking for help. Were you sleeping? They were prisoner ghouls. Did you guys have been... What? What do you mean, prisoner ghouls? Did you guys arrest your own ghouls? Okay, somebody is screaming. Hello, everybody. Mm, you must be stunned for days. Okay, I'll be right back. Uh, what are you doing over here? Oh no, so many people pouring out of that. That's bad news. Let's do this. Okay, not ideal. Not ideal. But we can do some things about that. We will do Punisher. Yes. Uh, we will... No, not you. You go over here and do the other swing. I think that's the one. No, that's a stun. Ah, whatever. Oh, hello, everybody. Look at this. Three murder. Distributed indiscriminately. I mean, attempted anyway. Can you die already? That guy needs to stop. That guy is just cackling like a chicken. Nathaniel! Oh, you. Nathaniel, you have a really powerful ability. Do you realize this? The best ability, in fact. It just takes a little while. Yes. As I said, the best ability. <laughs> it takes. It does take a little while, and I don't, I don't like it too much. Saving the day. That it's not in instantaneous, and indeed it, uh, it has ruined my prospects before. Delilah Howley, Howie's letters. Correspondence between Delilah Howie and a friend in Denerim, providing great insight into Delilah's recent life. Now, the wine wasn't his cup of tea? Sure. It's, that's not where I... I shouldn't have said that. The wine wasn't his his thing, but Delilah's how Delilah's letters might be. Oh, I've always wanted one of these. That is a cr creepy thing to say about your dead mother's letters. Anyway, uh, mind you, lure. That's not a thing, is it? It is a trap making thing. Oh no, more ingredients. I'm I'm gonna throw them all away. <laughs> when I need inventory space, trap making ingredients. They're out the window. There's gonna be no traps in my game. I don't do that because it's very, very slow. It's so slow. Trap? No, it's not the trap making that's slow. It's the trap laying that's slow. Hello. Oh, thank the maker. Please let us out. Well, uh, it's more dangerous out here. Really? Maybe we'll just stay here. Rotting bodies don't smell half as bad as the food they give us. They give you food, but more importantly, I can't do, do anything. I hope I just didn't ruin everything because of uh, of that choice. This crypt is old, really old. I bet it was here before the current keep was built. Yeah, it's got a huge boulder on it. Look at this ceiling. It's like the opposite of what a ceiling should be. <laughs> Seriously, it's 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 inverted, and that means that this is a huge boulder, and uh, there would be cave-ins even with boulders like that. And there's all health potions in the, in these sarcophagi. I'm off. And sapphires, does that matter? Oh, but there's something else. Oh, there is oh key to Kivial. Nice. There was a statue that I didn't look at. I'll do that. I'm off. Anders. Oh, Enders, 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 Enders. Come back. Hello. Ooh, hello. Hello. My god, these guys are weird. Oh, that's so beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, there's not beautiful. I will see you later. Okay, Ogren is already having tremendous trouble with, uh, with life. Namely, his uh, health points. I'm gonna have to heal him a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that. What are you guys doing over there? My god, you're just shooting at me. Terrible, terrible people. Uh, Nathaniel, are you gonna help out? You say you're gonna destroy them, but, uh... There it is. Okay, so you... What are... Okay, you really fled for days. So that's a lot of, uh... That's a lot of damage right there. I really need the other cones of of, uh, of a health damage. Okay, you are basically gonna take my fury back there. Okay, 
Okay, and I'm being projected. I also have a fireball. I should have used that. No, you guys are getting on my nerves. You're actually getting, getting on my health, and it's a bit of a problem. Can I uh, kill you without dying? I think I can. I mean, if you die, it's fine, but I would prefer you didn't. Hmm. The stun applies. You're you're about to die. There, there's no. I'm not really sure. Ooh. Okay, Ogren is the one. Who, no, I think they're all dead. What are you doing? Are you fighting each other? Oh, the pain, the pain. I know, I know. Yeah, and we still need to go talk talk to the statue. Let's go ahead and do that. Who said the pain, the pain? That was really weird. And all because you couldn't pathfind towards where I was. My God. Okay, so, if you remember, at the very end of last episode, uh, just as it happens to be the very end of this one as well, but at the very end of last episode, I looked briefly at the left wall in this room over here, and there is a statue. And now I forgot about it, because I was dealing with a, with a dog. Huh. Yes! On the avars who lived here... With our warriors and matched in skill and strength, and here we settled, in the caves carved by the hand of Korth, the Mountain Father. Ruadan, Shaman, oh, that's just a continuation then. Huh. And did you see how the order is not the order that I acquired things in? It's rather the order that it's supposed to be in, which means that I was completely hopeless to expect to find any semblance of order <laughs> when I was trying to read the things before. Uh, in the first game more, or in the original, you know, campaign. Anyway, we're out of time for the day, so I'm going to sort uh, Nathaniel out, and um, I will we'll continue exploring in the next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Dragon Age Origins Awakening, I think. Uh, I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.